Okay, so I've been anxious to try this one, and this is rodent coil versus aluminum plate. I've got my, uh, if I remember, nine and a half inch coil here. Uh, this is an old amplifier that's basically a big piece of aluminum. Um, and I got this thing to hover off here, and I'm going to try turning it over, and maybe this curved shape that you see here might actually keep this thing in center. Uh, maybe not. So here we go. 120 volt AC. I tried it through a bulb. Nothing happened. I did it shorted out straight AC and it floated pretty good. So um, I'll just sit you right here. Alright. Here we go. 120 volt AC through my rodent coil. I'll do it again. Here we go. Now. So there you can see it hovering. Let's try it upside down. Looks like I got some metal in here it might interfere. Ready? Here we go. Yep. Nothing. Which makes sense. Um, this is a thinner plate of aluminum. So it's getting hot. Try it. That's all I got laying around, guys. Yeah, so nothing there. Alright. I'm going to do this again. Actually, I'm going to let this cool off. And we're back. Alright, I got you sitting on the floor. Rolling coils right here. On my plate. See what she does. Three, two, one. <laughs> That's awesome. Try it again. I think it would stay there if I could get the wires to something to hold it, but this thing overheats really, really quick. It's scalding hot. So here you go. Levitation. I don't care who you are. That right there is levitation. Woo! Ooh. Shocked me. Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's great. One more time. Whoa. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So there you go. Levitation rolling coil. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I do have some batteries here. Only a few. These are, um, let's see, 12 volt, 18 amp hour. They're tied together to make 24 volt. I've only got a few of them sitting here. So I'll be tying all those together and shorting it through my rodent coil. And see if I can get a magnet to fly through the ceiling. Um, yeah, I'll probably be hiding behind something. I've got some plexiglass here. I might be able to use it. Half inch. Alright, uh, so that's it. This thing does overheat. It is really, really hot. But uh, nonetheless, it levitates. Uh, this plate... Yeah, maybe quarter inch um, aluminum. Nice stuff. Um, the coil windings were in series, but I do not know what the polarity was. And um, I don't feel like tracing it down. You just have to play with it. It only works one way, I guess. I haven't tried the other way. Uh, let's do that real quick. Okay, guys, I've got the polarity reversed. Uh, in three, two, one. Nothing. You can hear it humming. It's getting real hot. But that's it. So, polarity only one way. Okay, guys, so that was it. Just a short little clip of my levitating rodent coil. Um, I hope to get some more videos up soon. I've been really, really busy working on the activation sequence. I was actually looking at it the wrong way. And I'm probably going to post a video on that so you can see what I've done and why it's taking so long. But uh, I'll do that next. See you guys.